The Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences announced their Oscar nominations today, and a Mainer is being recognized. Eric Sandin, who is from Gorham originally, now lives in New Zealand and works in special effects. As the Large senior content. visual effects supervisor on Avatar The Way of Water, he's sharing the nomination for Best Visual Effects with three other teammates. Our Rob Caldwell spoke with him just last month and learned he actually leads a team of 1,400 people. Keep in mind, that's bigger than the city of Eastport. It's a lot of, lot of special effects, and we're, we're pushing the boundaries on this movie. So uh, we really we needed a lot of people. We needed a lot of computer power. Um, we had computers all over the world working on this movie. So uh, it's, it's, it's pushed the boundaries, so we needed it. When we see the film and we look at these visual effects, how many of those effects were created with a movie camera? How often did someone turn on a camera and shoot something? And how often were they simply created on a computer? I should actually figure out exactly those numbers, but I'd say about a third of the movie had a live action plate in it. Um, which meant like shot with a real camera, um, shot a, a, a character, shot a, um, an environment, something like that. Um, it was all shot on um, sound stages. There was nothing shot outside um, because we can't go to Pandora and shoot. Um, and uh, the rest will all be completely virtual. For everyone involved in Avatar The Way of Water, the stakes are enormously high. Why do you come to us? Keep my family safe. The first Avatar is the top grossing motion picture of all time. Business Week reports that the production budget for this film may be as high as $400 million. Money spent to give The Way of Water a look that audiences have never seen before, a look that will leave them dazzled. What for you on this film was the biggest challenge? The Way of Water is the name of the movie, and we had a lot of water in this movie, and that is a huge challenge for visual effects, to make water look real. For me, it was getting the, the great performances of the actors to actually come through on these characters, and it, it, uh, it took a lot of um, nuancing to get it right, um, but the end result is you watch this movie, and it is three hours, but it flies by. You got into this business in I believe 1999, you were pretty much just out of college. You got your first break, went to California and got into the movie business. Yeah. And I'm sure that that was wildly exciting for you as a young guy. Now you're in a completely different place. Is it still fun though? Do you still get revved up doing what you do? You know, I went into work every day and got to sit next to James Cameron and talk about his career and talk about storytelling and how you shoot a movie properly and how you compose a movie. And I learned so much from doing this that I was excited every day. You go to work, you, you work with these crazy, the, this famous director, you, these famous people, um, you meet all these, these insane people. Um, yeah, it's still exciting every day. As you and I talk, the movie is, I believe two weeks away from its premiere, exactly two weeks. Is the picture finished or are there still some touches that are being worked on? I actually watched the movie with Jim for the first time last Sunday. And when it ended, he looked at me and said, what do you think? And I said, do you have any notes for me? And he said, nope. And I said, then I love it. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> that was actually the, the last, the, the nail in the coffin. Like it's done, we're sending it, it's uh, it's over. It's always so great to, I mean, people all around the world do amazing things, but it's always so fun to see someone from Maine. Our people. Yeah, right. yeah, it's like. Such a wonderful career. Just know you've got a big support system back here Oh, in absolutely. Maine. I'll just look at the box office. Everybody's there <laughs> to see it. <laughs>